so with everything that's been going on, I just, uh, just, I just couldn't bring myself to post anything oh happy go lucky when there's so much tragedy going on, not just around the world, but right under our noses. I don't even want to forget about the stuff that happened in Nice, um, about the coup that occurred in Turkey. I mean, it's just like one thing right after another. Like, we don't even have a chance to emotionally recover from one thing before something else is happening. And so we just took a pause. And um, we have had issues, like you already knew that we had issues with trading ECFE. I never really got to tell you all the story, but I will do a story time video on that. We also pulled him out of Kumon. Yeah, gonna have to do a story time video on that as well. And so, um, I don't know if anybody, I just feel like the people who do have a voice and who can say something in relation to like Black Lives Matter and you know, um, white supremacists, militia groups, and, you know, police officers killing black people that they're not really saying anything, you know, like, yeah, I'll call them out, the Daily Davisons, like, I was expecting them to actually say something, and they said basically nothing, like, they pretty much stayed neutral, which they're probably just trying to maintain sponsors, but, you know, they have the platform, they have the audience to be able to say something, and so, um, you know, I feel like, you know, right now, if you are an individual who is black or know black people or care about human rights in general, then you should be trying to do something. We should all should be trying to do something to stop everything that's happening. And um, I know as a mother of a young black child, I'm very concerned about him growing up in a culture where he's undervalued, his life is not valued, his, uh, you know, that he's that he will be looked at as a bad person and then have to prove himself to be good as opposed to the other way around and getting the benefit of the doubt. And so just get active in your community there, whether you're protesting. I'm not big on protesting. Um, I have my own reasons for that. But whether you're protesting, whether you're out tutoring, whatever is your niche, whatever you need to do, do it. I do suggest that, you know... <laughs> If you wanted my advice, but um, just transfer at least some of your money from a white owned bank to a black owned bank because our black owned banks need our support. And quite frankly, they're the ones supporting us and could support us if we need a home loan or something like that. You think Wells Fargo cares about you or me? No. When was the last time you seen them put hashtag Black Lives Matter or hashtag Alton Sterling or Trayvon Martin or Eric Gardner? Never. Right now, we're in also in the middle of a Target boycott because Target has not come out and said anything. It's like they don't care about the movement. They don't care that black lives are, are devalued. And so right now, that one is going on until July, August 8th. It's been going on for 30 days. And then after that, it's supposed to be another boycott for another store. So just look in your inboxes, your text messages, because that one is not one that's supposedly not supposed to be going around on social media. It's just through text and inboxes and your DMs and stuff like that. And right now I'm on a Facebook boycott. If you've looked for my Facebook page because Facebook took down the girl up here in Minnesota. They took her video down that she recorded. And so we took that as censorship, um, a breach of her First Amendment right to free speech so we've been boycotting Facebook for a little while and I know I know it frustrates me too that black people are not all on one page we boycotting this boycotting that we like all all over the place we just boycotting and all I mean but you know just be active and do something that I just want to give you all an update on where we are with our life if you all have any comments or if you know of any groups or meetings or you know whatever that people should uh, be looking into um might want to look into getting a gun permit maybe that's just me but it feels like we heading towards like a civil war or something nuts just be ready okay i'm gonna edit that out Okay, well, you all have a good day and try not to let 
the bad things that are happening emotionally get to your psyche um try not to watch all of the videos of um, black people being shot and killed and dying um it messes up your psyche be careful with letting your children watch that um, we don't want to get um what's the word i'm looking for um not demoralized we don't want to get desensitized towards seeing that stuff that we'd be like oh okay that's that's normal okay let's move on no because like that would be really bad so just try not to watch it over and over again i think that was part of my problem was just watching it and then hearing people talk about it on social media over and over and over again it was just really getting to my psyche i just really need to take a break and you know that in a facebook boycott i was like hey i'm I'm done. So officially right now I'm on Snapchat and Twitter, believe it or not. I've been on Twitter. I haven't been posting anything on Twitter, but I've been on Twitter and Instagram. Haven't been posting anything on Instagram, but I've been on Instagram. So I will see you all in tomorrow's video. We are going to start back with the regularly scheduled events. If you're still watching, you are the best and I will see you tomorrow.